hi all welcome back to baho water lab this is the continuation of uh, screenshot session in uh, selenium 4 okay in previous session we have learned how to take a screenshot uh, in selenium 4 with the help of timestamp okay uh, with the help of timestamp we are able to take a screenshot and uh, store that screenshot with uh, multiple timestamp and multiple names like we have taken this uh, to screenshot in last session okay we could not watch previous session this is the prerequisite to watch previous session first and then come back to this session okay so now in this session we will try to learn how to take a screenshot of element okay element screenshot is now possible in uh, selenium port right and screenshots in selenium port how to take the element screenshot means uh, till time you have taken the page screenshots right and uh, stored it here okay now uh, if i open amazon uh, like a business page uh, like uh, for example uh, let's open the window here and let's open amazon dot sign in this is the business page of amazon after open this page uh, if i want to take the screenshot of uh, let's say any one of the element like uh, let's say with this this particular element if you want to take a screenshot of this element okay so how to take that uh, screenshot so first of all we need to create x path for this element and after that we'll able to take a screenshot of this element as well so let's understand this practically how we can take the screenshot uh, of element so first of all what we have to do we have to uh, store this element in one variable so i'll uh, create a xpath for this particular variable for example just, let's inspect this info and uh, we are not wasting time we'll just go to through path and uh, copy this xpath from here okay so this is the xpath for this particular element right and we can write like here uh, driver we have already defined driver in the last session so driver dot find element by dot xpath and we'll call that xpath here okay. and we'll store this variable in uh, one wave element variable return type of wave element uh, let's say name as signing is equal to okay. let's uh, import this wave element from so uh, selenium and after that we have stored this particular uh, sign in with business credentials element in uh, this particular variable right so i want to take a screenshot of only this uh, thing like this element only uh, i don't want this entire here uh, page screenshot right so how to take a screen element screenshot in uh, selenium 4 so this is the uh, interesting concept because till selenium 3 this uh, this uh, facility is not available we can take a, uh, we required to take a screenshot of our full page okay but we can take a element screenshot in selenium 4 so first of all we require to write a file okay and uh, let's say we'll give name as uh, like element sign in screen okay and uh, we can write as like a this sign in which is a variable we have stored uh, like the x path in this particular variable so this is the element we want to capture so directly we can provide a dot dot okay and uh, we'll do as like a signing and dot get screenshot as okay. same we can pass this method here like uh, with the help of this wave element which is we have stored and uh, we can type here like output type what type of screenshot we want output okay so just output type and this is the required type of file so we pass as a file so this particular screenshot uh, element screenshot we want so we will pass this uh, particular element in here and uh, with the help of this element we will pass the, get the method as get screenshot as and we will store it in output file same way uh, which we have already copy file uh, we require to copy this particular screenshot in this uh, all screenshot folder so how to copy we have already seen in the last session as well so we require to pass file util dot copy file okay copy file and we require to pass here uh, like this element particular element so i'll just pass this particular element here 
where we have in the file type of return type and we have stored the screenshot here and we also required to pass uh, the location where we want to store so we'll create a new file and the directory where we want to store the screenshot so where we want to store the screenshot this is the dot slash is responsible to direct uh, the path of till this uh, particular project so we'll pass here like a dot slash after that uh, we require the screenshot folder so we'll just copy the screenshot folder from here and we'll just paste it here and we'll give the name of the screenshot here like uh, we'll give him a like a sign sign in text sign in text and uh, uh, we also pass the timestamp we have already created here so that it will uh, never uh, replace or overwrite our uh, every screenshot so just pass here like a timestamp okay timestamp and plus uh, continue with uh, dot like a jpg extension and we'll say end the statement with semicomma so this uh, what we have done here so we have just uh, captured that web element and stored into the one web element here and uh, with the help of this file uh, in java we can store this uh, in the particular variable uh, and with the help of this web element we are uh, pass the method like a get screenshot as and uh, with uh, with output file and uh, we'll take that screenshot and store into here with okay take that element particular element screenshot and store in this particular variable after that we we'll just copy this particular variable from uh, here to this particular directory right and uh, we'll pass this time step so that we'll never replace your screenshot so let's run this uh, program again and let's see whether we are able to take uh, element screenshot or not okay so we have run this time step and uh, chrome browser launch okay script is run successfully there is no run, uh, error here so let's open this particular folder like screenshots and check whether yes we have successfully taken a screenshot of this particular element like this sign in with business credentials right okay, we want the screenshot of this particular branch so this is how we can take the screenshot uh, of the element now the concept here is that we have taken a screenshot of uh, this particular element like a sign with business credentials right but if what if we have to take a screenshot with a uh, relative locators okay for example if i want to take a screenshot of the element above this particular element which having image tag like uh, this particular element having image tag no so this particular image is uh, element is not a image tag it's a div tag uh, for example like this this is the particular uh, image we have image tag right so what if uh, if i want to take a screenshot above of this particular element which having image tag Okay. This, this is the requirement right with the relative with the help of relative locators this is the new concept in uh selenium 4 as well okay we can store a screenshot of relative locators as well right so with uh, how to store uh, a screenshot of images uh, which uh, like above of this particular element like we have already taken this uh, x path of this particular element and store it into this variable so let's try to uh, do it practically so first of all what we uh, we can do we have to take uh, one variable here again uh, like a web element like uh, we can store say like above image images or we can uh, say that above images or above image first of all we are not using uh, find elements we just work with find element so uh, above image and uh, uh, we can find it like a driver dot uh, find element okay by uh, we are not using by here with relative locators or relative locator with uh, by dot tag name like uh, img and uh, we can pass dot above by locator so by locator we require to pass this one signing 
So sign in, this is the locator we are required to pass. Okay, uh, just complete the statement with same comma. So now what we have done here. Okay, so so uh, web element above image driver dot find element relative locator with by tag name. Okay, we required to take a screenshot of that element which is above of this particular element uh, with the tag name img. So above of this particular element, this is the element which is having the tag name with img. So we required to take a screenshot of that particular element with the help of this relative locators. So uh, let's see whether we are able to take a screenshot of above element or not. Or not. So again, we required to store this let's say name as business image image is equal to now we have taken the screenshot here using this sign in web element right but now we have uh, using relative locators uh, with above this sign in like uh, we require to take a screenshot of uh, this particular element which is having image tag so we'll just pass here like a uh, above image okay i'm above image dot get screenshot Get in short, and uh, we can pass here like a output file as output type as dot i. Okay, so output dot i, and again we require to copy this fold uh, particular screen shot on this particular path. So I'll just type here file utils again uh, dot copy file copy files and directory is here like we require to pass this business. Uh, image and we require to pass here like a new file, right? File is directory path. So, so this is the directory path where we want to store our screenshot again. So I'll just copy and paste here. Okay, and we'll pass here timestamp and here we just pass the name as a business image. Let's complete this statement with uh, this semi comma and let's say whether we are able to take a screenshot. Uh, of this particular element and uh, with the help of relative locators like uh, we are assigning this particular element but we are trying to take a screenshot of above element with having image tag. let's run this program and uh, see whether we are able to take a screenshot or not of the above image so first of all it will take the screenshot of this with the timestamp current time tab, and after that it will take a screenshot of above uh, image as well so chrome driver is launched and uh, okay scripts run successfully so let's go to the screenshots folder again and check whether we are able to take the screenshot properly or not okay so now i come and this says business this is the image amazon business perfect so perfect guys we are perfectly uh, able to take a screenshot uh, of above image with the help of relative locators as well so i have then with one example, uh, I'll just give you one assignment where we require to you require to practice by yourself with the uh, below uh, left top right of uh, we have already learned how relative locators in Selenium code. So just practice by yourself and take a uh, screenshot of other uh, for other elements as well and for uh, the other relative locators as well. Okay, so this is how we can take a screenshot of uh, relative locators and uh, one particular locator as well in Selenium code. Okay, if you have any doubt related to, to this session, you can just comment out, guys. Till time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our automation lab to learn this type of practical concept in real time environment. Okay, so let's meet in next uh, uh, session of this uh, screenshot session uh, where we will learn how to capture full page screenshots. Okay. So till time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.